Hey boys and ghouls, this is Moon Girl. Um, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aries. Remember, it may not resonate with everyone because it is general. So if it does, run with it. And if it doesn't, leave it alone. Um, however, you can always get a personalized reading. And as always, these are vice versa energy. So if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. Um, I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here. Uh, same name, Moon Girl Terror and more. So please make sure to give the like and follow. I would really appreciate your support. So first off, guys, I'm just going to tell you off the bat. These do not look like very good cards. Uh, we got the King of Swords, Reverse, the Sun Reverse, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So you might have been dealing with some someone who um, kind of has a hard time um, showing their emotions, conceals their emotions. Uh, a smart person, but can also be self-centered and can, um, you know, have a mean streak to them and perhaps be kind of manipul manipulative, um, who might be causing problems for you. Um, and like I said, this is a vice versa energy. So if it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with. Then you have the sun in reverse. So this has, you know, this person's kind of immature and, um, Hmm. You're, you're doubting whether to proceed with this relationship or not. Um, yeah, some, some relationships, I feel like there's been trouble in the relationship. I also feel like maybe some of you are going through some financial problems and this might be bringing strain to the relationship as well. Um, I also feel that maybe there's some broken engagements coming up, even maybe a separation. Um, someone really doesn't want to open their eyes and see the situation for what it really is. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Um, inability to move forward with this. Um, you know, it's a karma ca uh, card, so the past is going to catch up to you. So whatever you put out there is going to come back to you guys. If you put something bad, it's going to come back to you or, you know, it's going to come back and haunt you. So, <sighs> courage is going to be needed here. Okay, guys. Um, and underneath that, we have the world card. Good news, though. Everything is going to turn around. This is a very good card. Um, yeah, I feel like you've been dealing with a bunch of crap. It's been enough. The world's throwing you a bone. Um, I feel like things are going to start falling into place for you, okay? There's going to be some changes, and they're going to be positive changes. And underneath that, we have the devil. Yeah, because you feel like you're going to finally free yourself from these uh, bonds you have with this person, all this ugliness up here. I feel like uh, for those who do walk away... Um, you're just going to feel so much better. Things are going to start changing for the better. Uh, yeah, you're going to bring more balance into your life. Also, um, someone might be coming towards you. Someone who's nice, intelligent, uh, with a sense of humor, and, and who's going to really help you through this. And underneath that, we have, what is it? The Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, the person's going to help you get through this because, like I said, the other person you were dealing with um, was kind of envious of you and didn't want to compromise. Um, I feel like this person might try more conflict with you at work or, or at home um yeah i feel like there might be some more arguments like you're not done with this up here yet yeah, because this person didn't want to put the work into trying to fix this so there's still crap going on with you then we have the three of wands and it's in reverse mm -hmm. yeah someone feels like they're they're rejected 
they feel like they were rejected by you or you by them because if you do walk away they're gonna be like you know this person's rejecting me um well deserved though well deserved um you just don't have energy for this anymore and again i keep seeing um I would be careful with any investments you have. If you have anything shared with this person, uh, just keep an eyeball out, okay? And then we have, oh crap. Then we have the 10 of pentacles and it's in reverse. Yeah, this is just gonna cause you more frustrations. Um, For some of you, some of you might be going to court over something. Um, if you are married, maybe divorce, maybe for child support, maybe custody, um, or just maybe if there was some kind of domestic situation. Because um, I feel like someone's going to make trouble for you, this person over here. Um, and kind of has for a while now, but, um, a, a change is, a change in your life will, is going to improve the outlook. Okay. Then we have the Ace of Wands, I mean, Ace of Cups reverse. Mm. Yeah, this first, this person definitely is going to feel rejected. And you just may not be ready for a relationship right now. This has just been too much stuff going on that you really need a time to uh, to um, center yourself. You need a like a rest from relationships. I think that's gonna do you good. However, you have the King of Wands. I do feel that someone else might be coming in towards you, whether you decide to date this person or not. Uh, but this person is someone who's going to be charismatic and um, kind of attracts attention wherever they go. And um, this person's going to teach you some things. And I also got two Oracle cards. The first one is Unrequired Love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that pretty much speaks for itself. Um, some of you will be walking away from this situation. Then again, they kept getting money, uh, financial, uh, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, like I said earlier, you know, some of you might be going through some things financially and it's causing uh, a strain in the relationship you were in. Um, and that's what I have for you guys. I hope this reading was a blessing to you. And if you would like to bless me, you can tip or donate at paypal.me slash moongoddess11. I really appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, and your comments. They mean the world to me. Please drop me a line. Let me know if any of you are going through this. And as always, stay magical. Thanks, guys.